Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I used uh, some Christmas stamps today. Uh, here are the two sets that I used. Um, one is called Mikasa and one is Christmas Reindeer. And I'm taking some Nina Solar White cardstock and some Memento ink and I'm stamping my house. And I'm going to color it with Copic. So I'm going to start with uh, the, my lightest color and I'm going to color all over. And I'm not too worried about staying in the lines because I'm going to cut this house out. And then I'm going to take my dark color and go along the edges and along the shadow areas. I like to, when I'm doing a house, I like to do dark on the left and bottom sides of the windows. It makes the windows pop out a little bit. And here's my medium color. And then we we'll go back in with the light. And I actually went back in and added one more shade of brown in there. I just felt like it needed another medium shade. And I'll have the numbers on my blog, but I just kind of went back and forth here for a little bit, just making it right. The reason why I made this card is because um, we go to a lot of parties over the holidays, and it's always nice to give a thank you card uh, for the host of the party. I got one one time, and I just was very appreciative, so I try to do the same. It's hard when you're doing these really tiny, tiny areas, but the Copic markers have a very, very, very fine tip. So you can barely touch the paper and you get a, just a very, very small dot of color. The roof I did in the W set, um, W1, 3, and 5, I think. Um, just doing the same technique, all over light color and then dark area with the darkest color, um, then blend it in with medium. A lot of times I'll just go back and forth, back and forth until I get it the way I want it. And the nice thing about Copic is, is that you can remove color. So when you go back in with a lighter color, if you color over a darker color, the darker color will actually fade out. For my door, I made, uh, first I did it all over pink and then I did red. I like to use pink with my red because I feel like um, it just blends better than some of the other red colors. Uh, these little tiny lines around the doors and the windows are so small. I just took a Stampin' Up! crumb cake marker and I just colored them in. And then finally, I just took a yellow one and I just colored it in. There's no shading here, it's just too small. So that's my house and I'm gonna cut that out. And then I'm gonna start with my background, which uses this cute little reindeer. And again, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because it works the best with Copics. At least that's what I found. And then I took a post-it. I find that the post-it is actually easier to rip by hand than the Eclipse masking tape. Uh, so I just, you know, manually ripped a post-it to make it look like a snowbank and put it there at the bottom. And now I'm taking Broken China. And I'm taking my time with this. I think the more patience you have, the better it turns out. Uh, and I'm using very, very, very light pressure. Um, and as the ink comes off onto the paper, I'll apply more pressure because I know there's not as much ink on my applicator because I've already put some of it on the paper. So um, I get a lot of questions on how to avoid those dark blocks. And I think if you just start very, very light and with not too much ink, so just tap it a little bit on your ink pad um, and then move it toward the center. But as you, as you do your little circles, start very, very light and then just get heavier as you um, get the ink off of your applicator. So I decided to create a few snow banks in here. So I'm just moving my mask around and this time I'm using a sponge dauber which is a fingertip applicator because the, um, the ink applicator from Ranger uh, is a little bit too big for this application so this gives you a little bit more control. And so I'm just randomly applying it few times here until I get it the way I want it.
Alright, next I'm going to color my reindeer. And notice I did all of the other work first um, on the snow because it takes a while to do this coloring and it, I didn't want to mess up on the snow and then have to recolor the whole reindeer again. So for his shirt I'm just doing um, three different shades of green. I started with the all over light then I moved to the dark and now I'm doing some medium and then go back in with the light. And after that I decided I wanted the dark to be a little bit more toward the center so I'm pulling it in a little bit more and again you can always push it back out with the lighter color which is what I love about working with these markers. Uh, for the reindeer body I'm using um, there's a light color, a dark color, there's the medium then there's a second medium which is a little bit of a darker medium that I used on the right side because my, right, my light is coming from the right so I'm going to have a shadow on the right, it's just not going to be as the shadow that's on the left. I'm using the same colors as I used on the house, just so I get a nice good match there. And also notice that I'm doing this piece by piece, and that's because the Copic marker ink will dry a little bit and it will be harder to blend. So uh, as long as you work in little areas, it stays wet pretty, pretty well and you can blend it. Okay, for the edges of his sweater and the dots, I'm using a red R29, and um, because the tip is so fine, it allows me to do these teeny tiny little stripes there at the top. And notice that it doesn't blend into the green, which is kind of amazing, I think, because it blends so well that you think it would all blend together, but it doesn't. Alright, so this is the uh, star punch that I used on my Christmas card this year, and now I'm just placing them in there and I'm going to use my two-way glue pen to adhere them to the card. This is VersaFine black ink and I find that this ink works great on clear stamps. You get a really crisp clear image. So I'm stamping my sentiment with that and I'm just gonna adhere my house now. And then I used a W1, I think it was, and uh, just created a little bit of a shadow for the house so it didn't look like it was floating in the snow. And now I'm adhering this to a piece of black cardstock. And then I'm going to put this on my card base, which I always use Nina uh, cardstock for my card base because it's a really nice, thick, heavyweight cardstock. And finally, I'm adding some Stampin' Up! Dazzling Details, which is pretty much like stickles. It's just glitter glue on top of my stars to give them a little sparkle. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this is a great card for a uh, party host and um, a lot of fun. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.